6 Type of Civil Engineering Drawings for Construction If you are a civil engineer then preparing or reviewing civil engineering drawings must be a part of your daily job. But do you know how many types of civil engineering drawings are prepared for any infrastructure design and construction project? If you are keen to know this, please watch this video till the end. A civil engineering project generally starts with a concept design where the client or government agencies would like to conceptualize the possibility or feasibility of new infrastructure, be it a new motorway or airport or metro link, etc. So, they commence the concept design process and prepare concept design drawings to understand the pros and cons of the project in detail. Although these drawings are prepared with loads of assumption and exclusions, they tend to assist the government to decide a forward of that project. If the concept design drawings receive a positive nod from the government, the next step is formalizing the design and filter down the assumption. At this stage, designers work on the granularity of the project and develop each discipline's model and drawings of the project. For example, in a highway infrastructure project, individual disciplines like highways, drainage, lighting, road restraint system, etc. develop their own drawings. They work collectively to produce the design mode. These drawings are called preliminary design drawings. These drawings are reviewed by all stakeholders and health and safety teams. Risk assessments are carried out and mitigation measures are recorded for the next stage of the design. The GCELab.com provides online courses to explain how to use AutoCAD to develop civil engineering drawings. The detailed design stage, the project moves to great detail and all the safety issues are mitigated through design. Detailed design drawings are prepared along with the tender package for the contractor to bid for the project via a tender process. These drawings play a very important role during the tender stage. Any missing information or error in the design would lead to delay or cost overrun at the construction stage. So, the designers need to make sure that the design drawings are developed in thorough detail with zero error. Once the detailed design drawings are approved by the client, the approval for construction drawings is issued to the contractor to commence the construction process. The construction drawings along with the setting out information are used by the contractor to prepare the construction program and sequencing. At the first stage of construction, the contractor generally commences the diversion of underground services like telephone lines, broadband, electric lines, drainage pipes, etc. At this stage, statutory service owners play a very important role. They provide their utility diversion plans and liaise with contractor to smoothly accomplish the diversion process. There are many products that are used as standard product many times. For example, drainage manholes, gullies, street lighting columns, traffic signals are standard products. So, it is recommended to develop standard drawings for those products. Sometimes clients provide their own standard details to use for some assets. These assets come with the client's bespoke design or logo. For example, the county council sometimes prefer to have pedestrian guardrails or bollards or bins with their specific design, color and council's logo marked in them. As built drawings are produced by the contractor once all the construction activities are complete and all underground and overground assets are constructed and the road is ready to open to the public for use. These as built drawings help the client to use it in future if any new project is planned to initiate in the same project area. For example, if a new car park is planned close to a newly built junction, then it's very important for the client to know what underground services are laid in the project area and how they will impact the new design proposal. I hope this video enlightens you with some type of civil engineering drawings. Please feel free to share your comments, 